four row one. Okay, I have I have three special things in my life right now, and I want to try to explain each one, not all the way in depth, but I want to explain this in depth. I have the Bible which is number one in my life. I have a patent, a United States patent, that's number two in my life. And in this patent, it is a needle bearing hinge patent. I have also a prototype here of my patent, and I'm going to take it apart and we're going to try to discuss this thing the best of my ability and the best of my knowledge. And we're going to go ahead and just pull it totally apart. And as we put it back together, then we'll try to explain it. All right, we have a needle bearing hinge here that has needle bearings in it. And this needle bearing has seals on both sides, this side and that side, because it is a part of the application that has to have grease in it because we don't want no metal to metal at all. All right, now we're going to go ahead and slip that thing back in there. I'm just going to lay it right there. Now, we have a pin here that has two grease fittings. We have a pin with a grease fitting in this end. We have a, a grease fitting in this ap special application here. This application here has a pin, and if you'll notice real close, there is a groove around this boat. And in that groove, there is a hole that goes all the way through to the other side. Now that is because grease comes through this here, what they call a grease fitting. It comes out and comes out of these two holes and travels around and that little shim there that's around it. Now also, you can come on through with the hole. I have another little groove that got two holes in it that the grease can come out and continue out of this one to feed this application right here. Now I do have, in this application here, I have a grease fitting because I want to show both can be used in this application. Now then, I also, on the end down here, I have another bearing that rides right here, and the bearing here rides right here. And in this groove here, we have another hole that's a little bit bigger than these real, real small holes. If you notice, these two holes are small because I don't want too much pressure to go out and bust the seal. So I made these two holes real small, and this hole here, if you'll notice, the application is a little bit bigger in size because that grease has to travel down through this pin all the way to the end if that's what you desire. Now let's go ahead and put it back together real, real fast because we're running out of time. We're going to slip her back together. i got to watch because we'll tire our seals up. We're going to put her back together real fast. And then we're going to get off on the cost of this operation. There's always a cost to any operation that you do. And we're going to find out a little bit about the cost of this operation. All right, this operation, if you'll notice, there is a stop inside here for that burn not to go no further than where it's at right now. Now, if we want to, if it's a heavy application, we can also put what they call a thrust washer on this application here and here would be a thrust washer for more weight. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put this thing back together, and then we're going to try to discuss the price. Now, we have a price here. The application 
I bought the 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 hinge and then everything to put this hinge together in my application is in this hinge cost me thirty-six dollars and twenty-eight cents. Now then also if you'll notice there's another one here that if you wanted to buy serval and build serval of this particular hinge you can get them all the way down 10 of them for three dollars and 66 cents now the application that i was telling you about the thrust washer in between this and this there's a there's a thrust washer here that you can also use that's 76 cents all right and then i want to explain one other thing while we're on this application we have another application here and this is a door hinge application and i want you to notice one thing this door hinge is probably about a 2008 7 or 8 or 9 maybe i don't know but i want you to notice a lot of rust that's starting to build up we have rust here i would want to put my needle brain inside of this one I would want to put, if you'll notice down here, there's rust already starting to come onto this application here. I would want to put my needle burn in that application. Now then, we're going to get down where the metal hits the pedal. And we find that there's tremendous amount of rust in this area here. And we're going to put us another, another needle burn inside of this one here. This one hasn't started wiring yet because it doesn't take much of a load. But if you'll notice, we also would put our application in this one here. And God bless you.